It's something new, we just decided to try it out. Lots of fun, got yeah. great weather. I don't play rugby, don't do I have no skills around, I'm just running around, but you pick it up really quickly. Well, it's the first time that I've played beach tag, so I'm enjoying the day, yeah? Yeah, first beach tag event, uh, very excited about it, having a great day so far. We run a series of beach festivals over the course of the summer. This is the last one that we've run here in Curraclough, but it's a great, great turnout. 20 odd teams um, from all over Ireland that have come today, and good weather, a little bit windy, but other than that, it's fantastic. So everyone's having a great time. This is the third year that we've run some beach festivals, and each year that we've run them, they've, they've, they've grown and grown. So we, we're seeing growth over, over every year that we're running them, and hopefully that can continue. And people enjoy. If you can turn on the good weather, which we're trying to, uh, you know, people will turn out and, and have a good time. So, a beach event lends itself very well to a, a weekend away in somewhere that they wouldn't go. Beach destination, good bit of weather, a bit of a laugh out in the sun, a few beers at night time. So, it all blends in very well, you know. To be honest, it's uh, the social side of it really. Like we were down out last night, you know, not the best preparation for the blitz, but. Uh, I think it's part and parcel of it, so it's sort of, you know, half the rugby and half the, the night out, you know. Sun, sea, sand, drink, sand. fun. Yeah, it's, sand it's is good great. crack, it's, it's always just... good crack. <laughs> Boys as well, of course, obviously. <laughs> we wouldn't have drove here for three and a half hours. <laughs> it's, it's good crack now. I was pleasantly surprised, big crowd here, and it's just been a good laugh so far. It's been really, really, really good fun. We've got teams here from Cork, from Waterford, from Limerick. Uh, one from Ballinar over in Mayo, so there's a few teams that have travelled on for the weekend. The venues that we go to regularly, the likes of Enniscrone in, in County Sligo, Curraclough here, Port Stewart up in the north, good tag venues, long stretches of beach, really open areas. We, we pick them carefully, but they're, but, but they're great venues for beach tag. It's much more relaxed, it tends, the sand tends to make the games a little bit slower, so it probably brings it down to a less serious level. Um, the, the lower end player can probably compete a little bit better with a higher end player because it's so much slower on sand. But uh, I think people come with a different attitude, it's very much relaxed, they're here for a good time on the weekend, and winning is kind of immaterial. It's such a good buzz. It's, it's not as serious, and, the boys yeah. don't take it as seriously, we yeah. get absolutely verbally the abused <laughs> in our usual teams. <laughs> By the the games boys. are shorter and it's just more fun. Different sort of game to when you play it normally. It's much slower, so it's challenging in that way. When you're playing on a rugby pitch or a normal astroturf pitch, like it'd be faster. But here, like it's very rare you'd be able to run around someone because you're getting stuck in the sand. So it's more about passing. Everyone gets involved in the game. There's no sort of pressure to do brilliant or be anything. It's just the crack about it. Like and it's good satisfaction in it. It's great when you get a tag. It's uh, my first day today playing it, but uh, it's great crack and I'm definitely going to keep it up. Tonight will be a good night. Yeah. Head up to Enniscorthy Rugby Club to watch other people pick up trophies. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're going to win one. We might win the wooden spoon, but wooden it's not going to be silverware anyway. Oh, it's going to be a big night tonight, yeah. whether we win or lose. key part of it is the social interaction that happens after the playing of the game is over that everyone will come back to a venue and mingle and have a bite to eat, have a few drinks, everything's in one area, get all the teams back together as I said and interact socially as well as having played each other on the field. Everyone here tonight is having a good time. If it was a long weekend, I'd say they'd stay here as long as they possibly could. And I'm sure that anyone else who gets involved, they won't regret it and they won't be disappointed.